Hi, and welcome to another brass supply video. Um, I'm in my brewing room, which is also my fermentation area, and I wanted to share with you something that I came up with, um, which really has stepped up my game uh, for fermenting my beers um, at different temperatures. So I wasn't real happy with the idea of purchasing two fridges or having two separate rooms set at different temperatures so that I could lager a brew, for example, and, um, and, and brew a saison in the same loop. And what I've come up with here is a way for you to be able to ferment different beers at different temperatures all in the same loop. So I'm gonna take the camera off the stand and I'll, I'll get behind the camera and I'll show you exactly what's happening here. I'll explain it real quick. Um, over there is a, a water chiller and it's set at a, a temperature, it's at 57 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And behind me, I have a porter, which is, uh, I've got it set at 63 degrees. You can see it's at 62.7, well I don't know if you can see. Um, and, uh, and here, I've got a Kolsch and the Kolsch is at 61 degrees Fahrenheit. So how do I do this? Well, I've written a blog post and you can read it in the blog post. It goes into more detail, but um, I just wanted to show you this in action. So here I have the water chiller and here is the reservoir. And this is just a, an ice box. It's a five gallon ice box. And what I have is there's a pump inside that's a Danner pump. It's a 900 gallon per hour pump. And if you can see here, I'll back up the camera. It pumps, the liquid pumps, here, I use my hand here, from the chiller that's attached to the pump into the water chiller, out of the water chiller into the manifold and because a water chiller needs to have water circulating it constantly in order to make maintain the temperature what I have here is a spring-loaded check valve and that spring-loaded check valve allows water to flow continuously in a loop back into the water chiller and only does the water flow out of this manifold now here We've got dishwasher fittings on the manifold. I don't know if you can see that. Um, dishwasher, sorry, I mean washing machine fittings. And the liquid flows through a solenoid, which is controlled by one of these ETC temperature controllers. And these controllers so we've got 62.7 on the left and 60.8 or 61.2 on the right. And when it goes above the set point, it allows liquid to flow through. The coils of this fermenter has got an inter internal coil and the water and this fermenter has got the same. As you can see the fermenter here. And the water returns through this hose and back into into the reservoir, into the ice box. The pump is sized appropriately so that if the water, if all three fermenters on this loop have a demand for cooling, liquid will flow through all three. And the reason that I can maintain separate temperatures on the same loop is this temperature here of my water chiller is lower than the lowest temperature that I'm fermenting at. Cool, huh? So, so this is how I uh, manage fermentation temperature in my brewing room. I'd love it if you showed me what you do with yours. Uh, you can follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. And uh, I want to say thanks for watching. My name's Steven. This is Brow Supply.